Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. Today, let's keep talking about painting with the lasso tool. Now, this is our final goal, but just like all the other types of painting I've talked about, we're going to start simple and then we're going to get more complex. And so this video is going to be all about the block in, and we're going to use the paint by numbers that we've prepared and just start adding color to the canvas. And the process is really straightforward. It just make a selection of some sort and then switch to the brush tool and fill in that selection. So here I'm starting with the sky and then I'm gonna do the water and both of those are just big rectangular selections. So using the lasso tool doesn't really make sense because, well, I have the rectangular marquee. But as you'll see, most of the selections in this video are not rectangles, which means I'm gonna to have to use the lasso tool and I'm gonna to have to use those keyboard shortcuts to add to and subtract from my shape. And that's what I do for the entire block in. Make a shape, tweak it to be just right, and then start painting with big brush strokes. Then go on to the next shape, make it correct, start painting in there with big brush strokes. This is very direct painting. In other videos on control paint, I talk about layering paint, adding multiply glaze layers. We're not really doing that here. Here we are picking a color, putting it on the canvas. It takes some getting used to this process, but if you can really get a hang of it, it's very fast. But you can see when I give myself a hard-edged selection, painting inside the lines just becomes really easy. So normally when I paint, you see I use lots of layers. It's sort of the hallmark of control paint. So it's worth pointing out right away that I'm not using many layers at all to do this painting. I go through the entire block in with a single layer. And I think that really points out exactly how effective the lasso tool is for just quickly getting control. So that gives me this nice balance. I get the clarity and strong edge control that the lasso gives me, but then I can still use those big gestural brush strokes on the inside, which means I can use custom brushes really easily. I can add texture. All these things become more possible because I have that added control. But why am I doing paint by numbers? Why have I asked you to do a paint by numbers? In my opinion, it's really important to start getting in this mindset of working from simple first and then complicated later. And especially when you're doing something like a landscape, it's really easy to fall into that trap of getting tied down to tiny little details. Well, the lasso is really great at being quick and filling large areas of the canvas. So by setting up this paint by numbers, what I did was sort of clear your mind and just give you a few basic colors. I'm not worried about edge transitions. I'm not worried about texture. Right now, my goal is fill the entire canvas with color. That's it. Now, I want to be particular about the color. I'm not just putting down any old random color, but there's some magic that happens once you've filled your whole canvas. I don't really know how to explain it. I think it has to do with the way color works. But once you have all the colors laid in, even if there's no details, it becomes a whole lot easier to start making critical decisions. Because if you just start in one corner of the image and get very, very detailed and leave the rest as line art, it's really hard to make accurate color choices. Just the fact that there's a bunch of white on the canvas actually throws off the way that you perceive color. And if you can't perceive color correctly, then how are you going to make the right color choices? So this really isn't related to the lasso specifically, but just painting in general. If you can fill the canvas with color, accurate color, it is a good start. And the reason I decided to show this with the lasso tool is because I think the lasso is actually a really great way to do the block in. If you're a beginner, messy edges are a reality. Photoshop is just harder than real paint to keep clean edges, at least in my opinion. So any strategy you can use to just get clean color onto the canvas is really a good one. But you do so knowing the whole time that you're going to do much more detail later. This is really just a first pass. Now it's worth noting that I have sped up the footage two times. And what that means is my block in is taking roughly nine or 10 minutes not the five minutes that you're seeing here. But think about that. I'm covering my entire canvas with paint in 10 minutes. That's a great start. That means I could do it totally wrong, realize it was bad, throw it away and start over all in the time it would have taken me to paint more slowly and methodically with other methods. So for that reason alone, the lasso tool is great. It allows me to just sort of speed through the block in phase. Now I'm not speeding through color selection. I wanna make that clear, this is not a speed painting. It just means that I don't have to fuss around so much in order to get clean edges. The lasso tool is 
a nice efficiency, it doesn't replace learning how to paint. So as you're working along with me here, I really encourage you to just focus on the block in first. In the next video, we're gonna talk about adding detail and sort of getting more refined. But for a first step, just fill that canvas with color. Have fun. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.